so if you've seen my latest video, you know we had a little bit of luck in the field. We got a gobbler. So since then, basically all I've done is I've breasted this out and taken the legs. I've put them in these baggies, filled it with water, and put some salt in there, about a half cup of salt, brined them for a period of two days. And uh, since then, I've, I've rinsed them, rinsed them off. And this is what we have here. So today I'm just going to be making one of these turkey breasts. And uh, so we'll get started. So if you haven't seen that, that turkey hunt, you know, I'll, I'll put the link up here and you can check that out. And also in the past, I, I've done a, a fried turkey bites recipe that was really good. So if you want perhaps to check that out, uh, I'll also put that in the description. So these breasts, they're about three pounds each. So one of them's a little bit more, one of them's a little bit less. So six pounds of meat's quite a bit. Um, so what I have here, I've got some chicken broth. I have about two cups of chicken broth. I have about a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of cracked pepper, fresh cracked pepper. I have about a cup of flour. I have three bay leaves and some thyme and some butter. Now, my great aunt, she would make this for us when we were young, and she since passed. I don't have the exact recipe, but man, it was so good, and I think I can get close to it, so uh, let's try this out. We're, she usually used the oven, but I'm going to be using the, the slow cook today, but I, I think it'll turn out just the same. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, put our chicken broth in our slow cooker. Two cups of that. I'm going to add salt, and we don't need a whole lot of salt because we've already um, we've already brined these. I'm add some pepper. We'll put our bay leaves and thyme in, and I'm going to mix that up now. I'll bring it closer. Next, we're going to put three tablespoons of butter in. this up. Let that butter melt a little bit. And then we'll slowly add some some flour to get it to the consistency we want. Okay. So I added, I'm sorry, I added three quarters of a cup. I don't know if I said a half cup before or not, but I added three quarters of a cup. So now this is ready for our turkey breast. And if you like, you can also add potatoes, cut up some potatoes and put in there. I'm just gonna keep this simple for today. Just me and my little buddy eating. Should be by later on. So that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna slow cook this for about five hours. And as I mentioned, I'm going to check back in later on, give this, when it's near completion, I'm going to give this a, a little bit of a taste test, and I might, might try to add a little wine, I'm not sure yet. Alright, so I'm going to make some noodles to put the turkey and gravy on top of. I like these inmade noodles, but any egg noodles or Amish noodles or anything like that work out well. those for about 10 minutes. Okay, so our noodles have been going for 10 minutes. They're now ready, so we'll strain them. Okay, so it's been about five and a half hours. We're just getting some of the other stuff ready, so let it go a little bit longer. I decided not to do, I know I said I may add some wine. I decided not to do that. I really like the taste of this gravy as is. Didn't think it needed anything. So The only thing I did off camera was add about another quarter cup of flour. 
just to uh, make it a little bit more like you know a little thicker consistency so I'm gonna pull this out we'll uh, plate it and see what it looks like so I know this was tender when I pulled it out because it was starting to fall apart so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna cut it up into some slices and then we'll plate it with the noodles Alright, so here's the real test. I'm here with my little buddy and supervisor. And tell everybody what your name is if they haven't known. My name is Annie. Okay, this is Annie and she's going to let us know how it turned out. You like it? You said you weren't going to like turkey, but you like it? Mmm. It's really good. Really tender. It reminds me a lot of my great aunt's turkey. That was so good. The uh, the gravy has a distinct pepper flavor. It's not overpowering or anything like that, but you know that's where all the the flavor seems to come from. Um, so, I mean, this is just a good home cooked meal here. And you know where where everything comes from, so uh, you know I. Yeah, so I've done a video making it like this in the slow cooker. I've done fried turkey bites. Honestly, I like both of them. Um, it's good to mix it up both ways, to be quite honest. So, you know, I, th I think it's a hit for both for both of us. So, uh, I think you guys should definitely check it out. You should give it a try. So, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications of future videos. Thanks again. You say bye?